Yeah. All right, Caelan Ponga was quizzed about the contract situation following the night's loss to the Seagulls on Thursday night. Take a listen. How are you handling all this attention on you outside of footy at the moment? Uh, I'm just trying to handle what's on the field. Caelan, can you shed any light? I know you love talking about your future. Can you shed any light? <laughs> I think we, you were having a lunch date with Wayne on Saturday. <laughs> At the start of the week, you're extending it. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, here. but every time you ask me, I don't give you uh, an answer. So stay patient. I've got people that's working on it. Um, but my focus is always here, um, and that's uh, you, you know that. So we locked the lunch date with Wayne on, on Saturday. Um, Who established that? It obviously happened, um, but once it happened, I've moved on. Obviously, I'm, I'm worried about the game, and like I said, it was disappointing the effort that we put in at the end. With the losses, with each loss, does it make it harder to stay here, or does, does, does the win loss back have anything to do with it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they weren't too happy there, not wanting to answer the tough questions thrown at Kale and Ponger and Adam O'Brien after the match on the weekend. Now, not sure what they would e expect because it's, it's a circus it's, of their it's own a, It is a circus at the moment. There's no, I mean, a few weeks ago, we, oh, last week we sat here and we were talking about how it was nearly done in Newcastle. There seems to be seems to be not even close to done in Newcastle, and all of a sudden, we could be Look, swaying back to the Dolphins. But the, it, it has say, to it has to have an impact on his performance and the side. I dare say what's happened is the Dolphins have read the reports in in recent weeks where he's just about done at staying at the Knights and have come back in and improved their offer. And it looks like Kalen's obviously having another think about it. As for that incident there, look, it was a cheeky question because he had answered it several times mm, in different okay. ways. Yeah. So I don't, it didn't need, to me as a, as a journalist, it didn't need to be asked again. Mm -hmm. I didn't mind the way it was asked, to be honest. But, yeah. I, I, but it also, just a simple answer, mate, I'm committed here. The losses here have got nothing to do with my future. I'm going to move on and make a decision when the time's ready. And then it's done. Mm. And there's none, of that, there's none of this follow-up that we're all... Carrying on with now. Yeah. It's, it's an easy one to if, fix. If the Newcastle Knights are serious and they believe that Kalen's serious in them, they have to remove all the next clauses out of his ongoing contract. For whatever oh, year, for, sure. for whatever years he's extended, those clauses have to be removed. Now, I understand that is debatable of whether that's going to happen. But if I'm in the Newcastle Knights, this whole hullabaloo mm. that comes up every 12 months, it has to stop. Because it, it's an unwanted distraction. It, it puts focus on, on the team, on him. He, you can say what he like. He, he's, he's not answering the question. No, he's not. He's, well, he's not, not adept at answering the question or that's deflecting right. the question to have it come up as an annual event. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Uh, they, they've just got to get rid of it. But, uh, look, I, I don't think it's all over yet. It does sound like the Dolphins have somehow got themselves yeah. back in the negotiation process. If Caelan Ponga does leave Newcastle, how do we see his time at the Knights? Has he delivered? Well, he, he, came, he came to the club as a rookie and he certainly delivered. But I, I, I just wonder, from my point of view, look, on the outside looking in, if I would want Kalen, with his attitude, to be your marquee player. Like, you look at a player like Billy Slater in, in years gone by and Cameron Smith and Cooper Cronk and... Thurston. And Jonathan Thurston and those sort of players who are, who are totally devoted and committed to being the leader of the club, Caelan doesn't strike me as that sort of personality. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Do you look, think he's delivered that? No, nah, look, I, I'm, I see delivery on a different point of view, Braith, and I, I think the Knights don't build a roster if they actually don't have Caelan in their squad. I think players attract players, mm. and the, the Knights have gone through an, an incredible rebuild from wooden spoon mm. after wooden spoon with their roster, and I think Caelan's part of this culmination of, of trying to win a comp. Has he delivered a premiership? No, he hasn't, so that's a failure. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, as I said, I think he has contributed um, in other ways. They have built a roster dependent on him and his success to win a premiership, and he's paid to get them to finals, which I think he's only played one. They also lost. paid him on potential. Mm. A lot of the, con a lot a lot of the money potential. he was yeah, paid that's for my was point, Ken, for that they potential. paid him on potential and then he just walks out and goes to the Dolphins. Just out as he's about Knights, to hit his peak. Out of the Knights field. Yeah, and, and look, part of, part of this contract was a potential payment and it was a part of... It was to, mate, we know you, we're not going to see your best football 
during the life of this contract. We're going to see it in the contract after when you're a bit older mm. and more mature as a player. So for him to then leave the club, then certainly he hasn't obligated himself to that part of the part of the deal. But that said, it's a professional game. There's winners and losers yeah. on both sides every but time. They, the other <laughs> side of that is too that have the club lived up to the end, their end of the fair bargain. Call. That's a fair call too. That's and then the whole call. he would leave would devastate yeah. the club. Yeah. So yeah. you would argue that he's had a significant impact. Because yeah. one, one thing you do say about Ponga, when he, when he plays Origin, mm. almost always, he's, he's close to the best player yeah. on the field. Yeah. He's a going player and I'm sure we'll see the best ahead of him. And, but where that is, I suppose we'll find out soon. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Dave.